What you time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. It's time to get this fashion video started. Alright y'all. Last week of my life, we talked about the dancer who had like one leg. What's her name? Uh, Sadha Chan Chandra. Tranjan. Chan Chandran. Well, today is my live, and I was like, before I go live, I have got to find out this dancer's story. I mean, incredible to have one leg and then be a, a, a famous, you know, talented dancer with it. I, I was like, I got to check this out. Well, I found this, the inspirational story of Shudha Chan Chandran. Ah! I, it's hard to say. Shud, Shudha Ch Chandran. All right, let's just get it started. Y'all ready to do this? Let's go. What happens when the thing you need the most is the one thing you can't have? Most of us will be sad oh, or disheartened. But that. not Sudha Chandran. So Her story inspires you to the peak. Sudha Chandran was born to Telugu parents in Mumbai. She was the only child of her parents. Oh, she's As she grew up, dancing and cultural arts attracted her. Seeing her enthusiasm for dancing, her father chose to enroll her for a dancing institute at an early age. She began dancing at the age of three and gave her first stage performance at the age of eight. Also, she learned dancing alongside her studies. And when she turned 16, she was already a rising star of the dancing world with 75 stage performances under her belt. Sudha was a splendid student in academics as well. And she was smart. Yet, dancing has always been her first love. Only four months before her 16th birthday celebration, she met with an accident <gasps> while traveling in a bus in Tamil Nadu. The accident fractured her right got, leg along with a few cuts. <gasps> because of the sudden rush of critical patients at that time, a team of medical interns attended to her. They failed to see the cuts on her right lower leg. They, they simply it. wrapped her leg with POP plaster. <gasps> it led to gangrene and the specialists were left with no choice no. but to cut off her right leg 7.5 inches below the knee to avoid the spread oh, of infection. Oh my goodness! Sudha was devastated. I the accident shattered her dancing. hopes of making a name in the dancing world. There was nothing she could do. Negative thoughts. Depression, oh, no, anger, bet. frustration oh. enveloped her. But she did not quit. Her passion for dance made her walk again with the help of an artificial limb called the Jaipur foot or Jaipur leg. Oh, it took her four months to walk straight with them. After learning to walk well with the artificial limb, she began practicing dance. It that? was difficult. She I had bet. to learn every step again. I bet. There were times when her leg would bleed, oh. yet she continued. Oh this is the actual beginning of the inspirational story of Sudha Chandran. Oh. Of course, Sudha was depressed as she felt that she was incapable of doing normal tasks. However, regular physiotherapy and practice gave her enough certainty oh. to dance once more. Now, she was prepared to tell the entire what world that an amputated home. leg cannot prevent her from Talk living her dreams. She was scheduled to give a live stage performance in St. Xavier's School, Mumbai on January 28, 1984. All the main daily papers applauded her stage performance. Prior to the performance, she was a little nervous due to the large crowd awaiting her. A couple of big media and film dignitaries were they among the group, out. Well, of course. including Ramoji Rao, the owner out. of Ramoji Rao Film City, Hyderabad. She realized that the group of onlookers was expecting the same words of her. The minute she landed on the stage, she just overlooked her leg and gave a stellar Look performance to get that. a standing ovation. Everybody, including her own father, was thrilled with the performance. I would have cried. That one you know, performance changed her life. She received immense appreciation from India and the international media. She got invitations to perform in different nations over the globe. Ramoji Rao chose to influence a Telugu film on her life, and he offered her the lead part. 
This oh motion picture, goodness. Mayuri, oh. 1985, was a what? box office success and won the best feature film award from the state government. Later, it was dubbed in Malayalam and Tamil language and even oh, remade in Hindi with the name Nache Mayuri Christmas in 1986. Presently, Sudha is a well-established actress. She has oh, acted in various actress. movies of different languages like Hindi, Malayalam, Telugu, Gujarati and Kannada. Her rundown of TV serials is long with a modest bunch of dancing reality shows as oh, a judge. Oh, she was a judge too. This inspirational story of Sudha Chandran is a stepping stone for those okay. under similar circumstances. Yes. Regardless of her acting duties, Sudha's enthusiasm for dancing is still there. Presently, she runs dancing schools Aww. with the name Sudha Chandran Academy of Dance. It has several branches in Mumbai and Pune. Her husband is the official director of these schools and she oh. teaches there every Sunday. Oh. A note to the go. listeners. The inspirational story of Sudha Chandran delivers an important message. A physical barrier cannot hamper mm. our dreams That's and right. our way to success. It depends on how one overcomes mm. this difficulty mentally. Once you do that, nothing can stop you from achieving your goal. Life will throw many unfortunate events at us, but we must make sure that we don't sink into negativity. Look at that. Well, next time I have to watch some, some of her dances. Next time I have to watch. But like, I was just going to say what they ended with. I was like, this right here, it tells you, you know, nothing can hold you back. She was, you know, her passion was dancing. That was her passion. To, you know, she was great at it. And then you're going to lose the one thing I like that affects, you know, your most loved passion in the world. And right there, like, she could have. She could have just stayed in her depression and, and stayed in her house and given up. But she put on that leg and she was like, I'm going to keep dancing till it was bloody. Oh, I mean, talk about inspiration and to, uh, inspiration for anybody who has a dream, you know, who is capable, who has all their limbs, you know, who, who, but who has a dream and, and feels like they can't do it. And I mean, what's holding you back? You can't, you can't even have excuses of things that hold you back. She lost a leg and she's still a top dancer and made a success of it. Oh, I love it. I love hearing stories like that. Well, I'm telling you, what an inspiration. What an inspiration. All right, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Oh, and before that, if there's any, because I was looking and I'm like, I want to see one of her best dances. So if y'all want to suggest, link, drop me a link of like one of the reactions, or not reactions, but dances that I could react to or, or even check out and watch. Do it in the comments. Comments, all that down below. And until next time, y'all, mwah!